Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyber Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about BOM. So in Odoo, BOM stands for Bill of Materials. It's uh, essentially, we can say that a receipt or a blueprint of the manufactured product. It also shows the number of components with the exact number of quantities that is used for manufacturing a product and uh, which product is manufactured can be also easily identified from this receipt or blueprint. And it also gives an instruction to guideline uh, the workers like to which all steps should undergo in order to manufacture a particular product. So let's check how this BOM works in Odo 17 manufacturing module. To manage with the BOM, let's dive into the manufacturing module and in the manufacturing module under the product tab, we can find the BOM. So here you can see the BOM which is created for different products. So the BOM is basically known as bill of material which may include certain details uh, or we can say that it's a blueprint that shows uh, the product that we are just going to manufacture as well as the components that is required for manufacturing a particular product. So here you can see the disk combination. We can just consider an example and uh, the BOM type can be of different types like if we want to just manufacture this item we can just set the BOM type as manufacture this product or if you just uh, want to manufacture a kit then we can set the BOM type as kit and all and under the components we can just list out the components that is required for manufacturing and all and under the operation tab we can just use the um, operation that to be performed uh, from a work center and under the miscellaneous tab that shows the manufacturing uh, readiness like uh, when should we manufacturing manufacture the item when all products are available or when the components of the first uh, operations are available like ways we can set and uh, we can also just deal with the flexible consumption so all these will be discussed uh, through another video and we can also set the manufacturing lead time and uh, we can also set the days to prepare for manufacturing order now uh, we just need to uh, create a new bill of material so in order to create the bill of material here we just need to go with the operations and all so we also need to set a new work center so to manage with the work center under the um, configuration settings you can see that we have to enable the feature uh, work orders and from there you can see that uh, work centers so once we enable work orders then only we can just manage the work centers over here so either you can just configure a new work center from the configuration settings of the manufacturing what you mean or you can see the work center is over here so if you want to create a new work center you can just go to the uh, configuration menu and choose work centers so here i have already created a new work center uh, which is named as the cutting station so that the cutting operations will be done from this work center so we can find uh, different things of this work center such as the OEE, the low rate, the load, performance, maintenance and all. So here you can see that we can also provide different tags such as this uh, station is used for cutting purposes and uh, we can just use the tags for filtration purposes and you can provide the code over, I mean tags over here. And we can also set a particular uh, code for it easy identification so let me provide it as cs so um we just need to know the time frame at which this work center works so here we can say that uh, the standard working hour per week will be 40 hours so each day it will be working for eight hours and this work center comes under my company san francisco and under the general information we also just need to provide certain information such as the production information so here we can set the uh, time efficiency so the time efficiency will be always calculated in percentage and the time efficiency of a work center refers to how well it utilizes its available production time to produce the output uh, and it it's a measure of how close actual productions comes to the ideal production within the given time frame now we can also uh, calculate the capacity so the capacity of a work center refers to its maximum ability to produce the output within the specific time frame and it's essentially how much the work can it handle. So if I'm setting it as uh, 5 over here, during its production it will be parallelly producing 5 quantity and we can also set the OEE target. So OEE target is uh, the overall equipment effectiveness and uh, 
uh, we have to achieve this uh, while producing, which means uh, this shows whether we are meeting the production quality, its performance and uh, uh, its availability and all basically calculated under the OEE target. So in order to calculate the OEE, basically we have to consider these factors such as the availability of the machine, performance, uh, quality and all. So the availability always represents the percentage of planned production time. Um, the work center is actually actually operational and producing the output. And the performance reflects how efficiently and effectively the work center utilizes its um, available production time. And it compares the ideal cycle time for a unit with the actual time taken. And the quality shows the significant significances of the percentage of the goods unit produced compared to the total output. So if you want to calculate the OE target, we would multiply all these factors and get the result under the OE target. So currently I have set the OE target over here. So if the OE target falls below 90 percent, then we can see that uh, the production is not fit. Uh, and if it falls below uh, the specified percent, and we can say that it's um, producing uh, within our range. So we have already um, published a video on how to calculate the OE target and all. So if you have any doubt regarding that, kindly watch that video. And under the costing information, we can set the costing information uh, per employees and work center. So if we are using this work center for our production purpose, then we have to pay a uh, hundred dollar for the given time frame and per the employee we just need to make a payment of uh, 10 and that is set over here and it also take a few uh, minutes or hours for cleaning as well as for setting up this work center so you can set basically the time that is used for setting up this work center as well as for the cleanup time and this operation can be done uh, with different employees so you can set the allowed employees and on. So currently I just need to set the employee as Michelle Admin. So I'll be setting Michelle Admin as my employee. So you can choose the employee from this list as well as also you can set the description so that uh, this would give more clear and precise information regard what does this work center do. Now later on we can just use this work center under the BOM. So in order to manage the BOM, you can just move on to the product tab and let's choose the BOM. And here let's create a new BOM. So here we can set the number of quantities that we just want to uh, manufacture. So basically we know BOM is a receipt or the blueprint that shows the number of quantities or what product we are just going to manufacture. So I just need to manufacture the cable management box. And uh, here you can see the reference is auto calculated over here. As well as if we want to just manufacture the variants of this product, we can also choose that. Currently, I don't want to manufacture the variants. I just only need the main product. And here we just need to manufacture 10 quantity of this uh, cable management box. And uh, we can include the uh, number of components that is required for manufacturing the product. Cable management box. Basically, we require three components, which are screw. So in order to manufacture 10 quantity of screw, here we just, I mean, uh, cable management box. Here we require 100 uh, screw and uh, we can set the number of bolt uh, we want. So let me set the number of bolt that is required for setting as just 50. And later on, we can also set the main product, which is wooden pan. So here we just want to get the wooden panel. So you can choose the product over here. So we just need to um, manufacture 10 quantity. So let me set it as 10 into 10. Let's set 100 as the uh, wooden panel quantity that we want. So this shows the total quantity of components we want to set for uh, manufacturing an item. And we can also give the other details such as the operations. So operations, uh, basically under work center, we may be performing certain operations. So under the cutting stations, we have to perform uh, the cutting operation. So you can set that. And here you can see the duration computation. So we can just 
compute this based on the track time or we can also manually set the durations so the default duration is currently set as 60 so if you want to set the work center duration that is the um, basic time that is used uh, for manufacturing this item i'm setting it as 30 minutes and uh, the employee capacity is uh, automatically configured here as one because we have only only allowed it for one employee to manufacture this product so the employee capacity is auto configured over here and you can save the changes that you have made and uh, later on you can save this and under the BOM overview you can find uh, the details over here which means the cost of the product for 10 quantity of the cable management uh, box as well as this also shows the product cost uh, and uh, we can also find the cost that is uh, applied for screw with 100 quantity and you can also get the uh, price of the bolt with 50 quantity over here is calculated and wooden panel and uh, while manufacturing this item from this cutting station um, this also calculate the total time that is required as well as this also apply the uh, time so here you can see that the cost is just set as 330 this is because for uh, one hour the user has to just make a payment of $100 to the work sender. So actually it takes uh, 3 hours over here which means 180 minutes. So the user just need to make a payment of uh, uh, $300 uh, dollar to the work sender. And we have allocated one employee over here. So for the employee the cost will be $10 for the working. So he will be working for 3 hours. And along with uh, that we can say that for while an employee is working for um, three hard, we have to make a payment of $30. So altogether, that will be calculated over here and set it as 330. And here you will get the total of the unit cost uh, and the production cost over here. So it's very easy to manage the BOM in Odoo 17. And we have already discussed um, the BOM overview through another video. So do watch that also for further clarification. And that's all about BOM. So BOM can improve the efficiency and quality of a product. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage a BOM in Odoo 17 manufacturing. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprus. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.